five dollars, hundred milligrams, and you get oh I don't know lots. It's a very cheap vitamin, by the way. Okay, this is the vitamin that makes vitamins look yellow. See that? Yellow. Okay. So I'm going to grind it up. Dissolve it. See, it's got this beautiful deep yellow orange color. Okay, this is riboflavin. And what gives it its yellow color is, in fact, this triple ring structure right here. Now, this is the oxidized form of riboflavin. There's oxygen in the air, and it looks bright yellow. I'm going to give it something to reduce it here. Now, the thing I'm going to use here is not going to be succinate. It's too expensive. I'm actually going to use glucose. Glucose has a lot of reducing power. Okay? So I'm going to use glucose. Not that this would happen this way in the cell, but watch what happens when I reduce, or in other words, give electrons to the riboflavin. Keep watching. It takes a while. Now maybe you can begin to see this already. It's not quite as bright orange already. In fact, it's, it's, it's turning this mm, kind of a sickly greenish yellow. I don't know if you can see that just yet. It's going to get worse. Uh, there we go. Yeah, pretty bad, huh? And so this is what happens when the riboflavin gets these two hydrogens on it. It's no longer that bright orange color. Now, is there a way to oxidize this again? Is there a way to, just like in the mitochondria, to, once this is reduced, to have it give up its electrons and to turn back into the oxidized form so it can be reduced again? either by succinate here or by NADH. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let's see. Let's take about half of this and leave half of it in its reduced form. Okay. Let's stop with that up. So there it is in its reduced form. You see they're both kind of green. But let's take one of these and let's shake it up with the air inside of there. Because the air has oxygen and the oxygen should be able to oxidize this and take those electrons and hydrogens off. The oxygen will form water and the riboflavin will end up reduced again. So let's see if we can do that. And there we go. So let's compare that to the one that we didn't shake. And you see we have our oxidized form of riboflavin back. Compare it to this reduced form. We can do that over here. And you see it turns uh, yellow orange again and this one's already starting to turn green and this is perfectly reversible and we can use these same riboflavin molecules over and over and over they're coenzymes uh, to these two complexes here and that's exactly what happens here 
they get used over and over and over, they get reduced, they lose their electrons, then they get reduced again, they lose their electrons, and so we're constantly sucking electrons away from these carriers here in ADH and sending them to coenzyme Q. And in the inner membrane of the mitochondria, we're developing a lot of coenzyme Q.